Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the LPB1 Linear Power Boost. So, I had this idea. Wouldn't it be cool if I drew up some schematics, we talked about some circuits, uh, kind of explain the basic mechanics of how those circuits worked and that way you guys could go out and build your own versions of those circuits or maybe just satisfy your own curiosity on how they work. To start this project off I thought that we would start with the Electroharmonics LPB1 or Linear Power Boost. It's credited as being one of if not the first silicon boost circuits put into commercial production and it's just an all-around really great simple clean powerful boost. Uh, so let's draw it out and let's see what makes the circuit tick. All right, so here we have C1, which is going to be 100 in. C1 is our input cap. It does a couple different things for us. It's going to filter out DC voltage coming from our guitar, and it pairs with another component, R2, uh, which I'll be drawing here in a second. Uh, and together they form a high pass filter, which basically means the higher the value of C1, the more bass frequencies are allowed into the circuit. And the smaller the value, the less bass frequencies or brighter the circuit will be. Uh, so again, we have it set to 100 in, uh, just a nice balanced uh, frequency response going into the circuit so that it can be a very transparent, true to the original uh, sound when, when it boosts it. So as I mentioned before, C1 and R2 are going to create that high pass filter. Uh, but in addition to that, R1 and R2 are also creating a voltage divide. You can see that one is 430K and one is 43K. And that's going to give us a stabilized voltage reference for our transistor for Q1 that we're gonna be drawing next. So here we have the transistor. And what the transistor is doing is it's giving us our amplitude and gain in the circuit. So for a boost, this is really the key thing uh, to make it all work. So here we have R3. Uh, as you can see, it's connected to the emitter pin and it's going to control the amount of gain or dirt that you hear in the circuit. Uh, basically, the higher the value, the less gain you will hear, uh, but you could tweak this value lower to make it dirtier. Uh, 330R is going to keep the boost clean and, and not really color the signal. So where R3 controls the amount of gain in the circuit, R4 is going to determine our max uh, overall volume uh, when you turn the volume pot all the way up. Uh, 10K, so the more resistance we have here, the louder the max volume of the boost is going to be. So you could play with this if you feel like the volume control is too sensitive, it gets too loud too fast, or you know you somehow want more volume, uh, you could play with R4 to get more of that. So C2 is pretty similar to C1, uh, it's our output cap. It's going to filter out any DC voltage that ended up in the circuit, and it's also going to control the base frequencies leaving the circuit, just like C1 controls going into the circuit. So having these both balanced at 100 in, we're having a clean, uncolored boost happening. Now the last component I'm drawing here is our potentiometer and it is going to attenuate our signal to ground. And uh, essentially what that means is as uh, the wiper goes closer to ground, it's going to make our signal quieter. And as it goes closer to the output of the circuit, our signal is going to get louder.
All right guys, that is the basic run through of the LPB1 linear power boost. There's deeper mechanics that make this circuit work, but that's really all you need to know to build one yourself. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and share. I'm gonna be doing weekly videos talking about different circuits and how they work and different concepts. So if you have any ideas, leave a comment below and I will see you next week.